I'm so done with anything that uh, changes my state of mind. Now, that, that sounds kind of silly coming from me. I'm advocating meditation. I'm advocating these mental health practices that change your stressful behavior. I'm, I'm advocating your basically cognitive behavioral behavioral therapy so that you change your thinking patterns so that you you can grow as a person and become more healthy so disclaimer i'm not talking about anything you can do for free without ingesting anything what i'm talking about is like drinking and drugs and smoking Uh. and any kind of honestly like uh, junk food also, anything that when you take it, you get a dopamine spike. Coffee. Coffee. Oh my gosh. Uh, coffee and sugar. I'm so done with these things that alter my state of being. Unnaturally, it's a really strong word to you, I guess, but artificially, um, almost like a shortcut. Uh, yeah, and it doesn't help you in any way. It just help, like, yeah. you just forget what you're doing. You forget your problems. It makes it okay. But you still come back to the world, and you haven't done anything. Problems are still there. The issue is still there. It's like a impermanent spike of goodness, <laughs> a spike of dopamine that, that makes life okay for a little while, and then then you need more of that thing to make life okay again. And I'm just. I'm tired of that model of existence. I'm tired of those different substances in my life. I like a really nice glass of wine with certain dinners. Oh, I, that's I love champagne when we're celebrating weddings or, or family stuff. I I like whiskey and, and different uh, variations of it with different occasions. But, but I'm so burnt out on drinking because it's not bringing me anything. It's not teaching me anything. It's not helping me grow. If anything, it's holding me back. Yeah, and always the next day you always feel like shit. Ugh. At least half the day you're gone. You sleep like garbage when you're drinking. Yeah. Even, and, and, and even when you're smoking weed, you're doing anything. Like, oh, I've got such a good night's sleep. I can't sleep without weed. Wrong. You've had <laughs> shit sleep. If you were monitoring your sleep, you would realize you've never slept before. Fair. Yeah, and it... it It's actually been shown in studies that uh, regular marijuana use actually affects your REM cycle. And that that can lead to a lack of sleep and and problems of in which. All kinds of health issues when you don't sleep. So I'm not going to throw judgment on people who are are doing these things. What I'm saying right now is it's not for me. It's It's not serving me. So I need to move past it. And we're facing a big challenge with our friends and family because we've always mm. drank a lot with them and yeah. been part of all these like, like cigarettes. We used to be some regular cigarettes. Yeah, we were smokers. regular smokers for years. And so occasional weed smokers, but like it, it'll be it'll be a challenge going forward and still finding common ground with these people and our friends and family that you know we've always bonded over these things. Fair. I I have this faith in me that our friendships aren't based solely on intoxication, aren't based solely on junk food, cigarettes, weed, and booze. I would, I would like to think that. And, and I think that, I think that the friendships will work out. It, it, what does any relationship need? It's communication, honesty, openness to each other. You have to be able to share your successes and failures. Yeah. It's communication. Basically. Yeah, especially so, your successes. So I'm not too worried about losing friends when I when I take on this five thousand percent sober lifestyle. When I when I try to remove any kind of dopamine highs. When I try to remove I, again, I want to say the word unnatural, like the, any kind of supplements to my state of mind. As I remove them from my life, maybe permanently. I think the friendships will come and go, but the, like relationships will work out. They will. And ultimately, if you're in a place similar where you just you just want to be you all the time, like you just you want to find some way to do all the the things that you want to do to feel the ways you want to feel without any aids. This this includes like psychiatric meds. This includes alcohol. It's it's all things. Like how can I be my optimized self without the help of any other substance? Or activity, right? Like, oh, I can't feel not stressed without video games. So, so without addiction, maybe. 
um, that's, that's kind of my goal. Like, how do I optimize myself? How do I become the best version of myself? And right now what I'm feeling called towards is just remove all extra. Yes. Just, just like cut out everything from my life, including food, which you might've seen our, our recent fast videos. Uh, just cut it all and be a hundred percent with myself. I think another part of this with being it's it's funny because you want to be like a hundred percent with yourself and you want to be a hundred percent yourself, but I think a big part of it is community to start mm. building community with people that you can share these experiences with people who've gone through similar things, their thoughts, their ideas it makes it makes it easier and and better in some ways. We're social creatures. we need all of that. I feel like she's right. so I think that's kind of what I'm doing here trying to to build community with YouTube and yeah. we do that in our personal lives and and we have social circles we run in and whatnot but it's also like what I'm going through right now I'm not the only one going through this there's I'm not the only one interested in these kinds of lifestyle choices so by putting it out here onto the internet maybe maybe we can get a conversation started maybe we can reach other people and we can all share what works best for them uh, you know, like help everyone grow together. Yeah. I like that. I don't know. I, I want to move away from taking things and get into more doing things. Like let's make stuff happen in the world. I get I don't know. That's kind of like its own point, but. That's, I, a, that's a good point. Thanks, friend. So, yeah, I'm moving away from uh, intoxicants of all kinds and. We'll see where that takes me. Hopefully to bigger, better, wonderful things. And maybe I'll have some wine with dinner in the next year or so. Who knows? But yeah. Maybe for the wedding. Maybe for the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Share below. Are you experiencing anything similar? Are you going the opposite path? Are you like diving head first into a bottle to see what that teaches you? Like share. Let's see. Let's, let's get a conversation started. Yeah. Please help us in our journey. Yeah. Have a great day. And if I may.